right, y'all, stick with me for a second. This bike's got the 3000 watt Kunray motor, and I also got the Electro Company motor. We're gonna go over them both. We're gonna talk about it. Let's get after it. All right, let's do it. Getting into this bike real quick. Let's keep this short and sweet. I wanna get onto the test. This bike has got a 72 volt battery from Amridge. It's uh, 150 max discharge. It's nothing crazy, but it does a good job for this bike. This is a 3000 watt Kunray motor, not from Electro and Company. This motor is from Alexia Express, and it's been good to me so far. That is the Electro and Company cooling uh, radiator on it though. Stock gear in the front and a 55 tooth in the rear. All right, guys. So this is the Voltron Watts testing ground. No, I'm just kidding. Street behind my house. We're gonna do some speed here. Uh, I'm just holding the camera as we go. The base, basically what I wanna do here is check the engine temperatures after going around this, uh, this block here. It's about a mile. I think it's gonna take almost 29 miles, but let's roll. And as y'all can see in the screen here, uh, with the Kunray motor, I was able to get about 48 miles per hour. Ninety two, ninety one degrees at the side of the motor. Ninety five at the top. Send it, bud. All right, y'all. So here we are, day two. I got the electro co motor installed. Bike's right behind me. Uh, wasn't bad. Easy bolt in motor. One good thing I do like about this motor, though, that I don't think anybody's noticed or mentioned, is it's got holes on both sides so you can mount it in different applications we'll take a look at it right now let's go all right y'all we're at the voltron watts signature training facility here in south austin this is the motor installed direct bolt in and i had mentioned earlier about the hole this additional hole here it matches the other side so you wanted to put this motor in something else besides the razor uh you totally could the uh, way i got it wired right now is kind of temporary the, the motor wires don't reach all the way through the way i run my wires typically up to the controller but for this test i just got it wired to the side uh just so i can get this this video shot for you guys we got the signature kelly controller wire rat nest on top there typically i would put all these connections down in the uh down this lower case but uh yeah this bike unfortunately is going to be taken apart and i'm going to build an mx out of it just because for an adult in my opinion the mx is a better platform it's more comfortable uh, but anyway, let's get to the test. All right, you crazy MFers. I'm going to do this run right now. Yesterday, I did the same run with the Kunray motor. And I did it one-handed so I could hold the camera with the other hand. And at about 47, 48 miles an hour, uh, that wasn't very fun. So I'm going to try to do my best today. If I have to, I'll just shoot you at top speed of my GPS and some run footage. But uh, here it goes. Right about here is where I decided I wasn't going to be able to do a full speed run with this bike. I was able to get it just shy of 54 miles an hour though. And I have some room left in my Kelly controller I can adjust uh, to get some more speed out of it. The first thing that I noticed when my first ride was the torque on this motor. Uh, it's a huge gain over the 3000 watt Kunray. Uh, the next thing I'm going to need to do though is upgrade my chain and my brakes for sure. During my super scientific test, I had to make a beer run, of course. One on one on the side of the motor. One fifteen at the top. 
All right, guys, so here I just took a couple pictures so you could see the difference in size between the two motors uh, once I had them pulled off. So once I got the motor installed and paired up to the, to the controller, it didn't work right off the bat. Uh, I was using a PC with a connection to the Kelly controller uh, from a USB on my computer. On the website, it says I have to have a Bluetooth adapter in order to do that. Um, but I took a couple screenshots of the uh, the settings that I changed when I was tuning my Kelly so that it would work. And huge shout out to Stephanie at Electro and Company for you know answering all my questions. So if you all haven't noticed by now, I'm not a super technical guy. I just want to know if it works, uh, will it last, and if it's worth my money. And it's in my opinion that at $323 after tax and shipped, uh, the motor is totally worth the money. Uh, I'd buy it again. Well guys, with all that being said, this is the end of the video. Uh, if, if you're still here, I appreciate you. I know you could be doing a thousand other things. Um, but if you found any of this content useful or entertaining, if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel, and I really appreciate it, and I uh, thank, you, thank you again for your time. Peace.